This is a Mazda 6 Tora 2.5194 PS GT Sport Nav and it's the automatic as well. First one, first automatic I've driven of the Mazda range today. Uh, body colour again is Soul Red Crystal and it's light stone Napa leather and uh, equipment level GT Sport Nav petrol 156 grams per kilometre. On the road price um, is £32,695. This car has got the extra metallic paint which is £800 and uh, light stone Napa leather in lieu of Napa. That's another £200. So we'll just go for a ride in now, see what it does. Oh, I, immediately I like the heads up display there in the windscreen instead of just a um, plastic screen that comes up. And uh, let's see. That wasn't me that parked in the bushes. No, immediately, I, I quite like that touch. It's almost like iPhones are these days, where the mirror goes all the way to the edge of, or the mirror glass goes all the edge, way to the edge of the rear view mirror. So that, that's a, a really nice touch. It also kind of fades into the windscreen. Lovely dashboard. Um, it's a, a, a digital one. We've got here again, it looks like there's a drone flying over us, um, showing you how much room you've got at either side. So it's got the camera system as well. Also the rear view camera. I'm not sure whether you can use that touch screen or what you can actually do with it. Again, I can only apologize. This is a, 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 a driving day, which Mazda have been very kind uh, and invited me on. Um, unfortunately, as you can imagine, there's a few people here. Everybody wants to drive the cars. This is one of the most popular and you haven't really got time to learn what it will actually do um, rather than the normal way of it lend your car for a week and, and you get to know it, you drive around in it and uh, you, you get to know its little uh, plus and minus points if it has any. Uh, I really like the heads up display there, it's showing me the, the sat nav turn ins, somebody's already set it to turn left but we will be going right I think. and. Uh, the speed limit of the road you're on, how many miles you're doing, looks like also what the cruise is set for. So cruise is on the right hand side here. Oh it's also oh, it's also distronic. So you can you can set there whether you can see from this camera, you can set there the distance you want to be from the car in front. That's showing you in the screen there. Um, so set, let's see. The steering's very light on it. So that switches the cruise on. Don't really want to have it set going into this bend. There's a nice widescreen sat nav display. You've got your control here, cup holders, uh, electronic handbrake, auto hold for hills. It's. Uh, <laughs> It has electric memory seats and as I, of course an unfamiliar car, I reached down the side of the seat to try and move the seat back when I got in and I accidentally pressed one of the electric memories which then proceeded to nearly crush me against the steering wheel. So all cars with electric memory seats should uh, have a government health warning on. I will put the spec, I'll try and cut and paste the spec into the, the video so you know because I, I won't be able to find out uh, basically by accident all the things that this car's got. So power folding door mirrors, oh shit, when I said shit I meant oops. If you ever need to know how to get the lights to change straight away. Either try and put your convertible hood down or move your steering wheel. Oh, this car's coming up and down here so so height and reach adjustable steering wheel there. That's uh, pretty handy. The 
this uh, Pretty quick off the mark there, trying to get out in traffic. The, the roads are full of leaves around here and they're all so slippy it's damp. It just spun the tyres, I can only apologise to Mazda, I don't drive like that normally. Ah, oh, I can also feel here, it looks like it's got lane departure warning as well. If we, uh, if we get a quite a bit of road where people don't think I'm uh, a maniac, I, I will try and demonstrate it. It's just, uh, yes, there you go, it, it's actually steering me back in. It's, it's <laughs> turning the steering wheel. You can override it, it's not like it's going to turn right or anything. But uh, hopefully we'll just find a quiet bit of uh, road that's actually got decent lane markings the car can recognise. Here we go. So let's see it pick them up. There you go, it's picked them up now. So if I kind of move over, I'm wait till this Range Rover is going, I don't think I'm going to ram him. There you go. It's, it's, it's turning me in. It's, it's lost sight of the markings there now. But uh, well, it's either lost sight of the markings or it, it thinks I'm an idiot. It's picked them back up again. So we'll move towards the centre of the road. And there you go. It's turning me back in. CD there, you've got your climate control there, heated seats, uh, gearbox there, can we move it over? Yes, so we can move the gear stick over and use it to change up and down, although that, I find that strange as well, minus is up and plus is back towards you. I would have thought that would be the other way around. Still. Lovely design, lovely seats, perforated leather. I'm not sure whether they could be heated and cooled seats. Um, we've got paddle shift on the steering wheel as well. And again, as I've mentioned with the other cars I've driven so far today, I can actually see the indicator and the uh, wipe stalk above the quarter to three position where the spokes are on the steering wheel so that's uh, that's a big plus in, in my book anyway I, I never understand the logic behind hiding them behind the spokes where you can't see them but yet you've got a clear view of your feet through these two spokes or these two gaps in the spokes Very, very smooth. The uh, Martine, I think uh, her name is at Mazda, told me this is the new, more powerful engine. I'm not too familiar with Mazdas. I hope that will change in the future and that they, they will lend me uh, a car now and again. Um, but uh, it really does drive very, very nicely. Brakes are superb as well. Oh, and there's a, a car coming there. That's spoiled me hat trick. So you can override here with the, can we turn around here? Don't want to be in anybody's way. Oh. 
on the bed and I'm not sure it was. Oh wow, it uh, look, looks like a, looked like a kite, a red kite. Let me just, you won't be able to see from there. Just see whether we can see it. No, it's gone. It's not over me. It's not over there. It's gone. We'll have to. Uh, well, it's up there. Beautiful thing. No, let's go. Don't want to keep them waiting. And there is a uh, briefing at 12 o'clock. Which I'm looking forward to finding out what models are coming in the Mazda range. I'll uh, try and set this sat nav quickly. or 40 60 mile an hour limit which is um, shown on the dash there that is a feature I, I really like so that's set the cruise control I can increase it just by touching the top button there Uh, no lane markings on the left hand side here just encountered a cyclist right at the top of the, the, the hill there where I couldn't see over so we'll click resume that's it back the, uh, it's not picking up this road the road markings on here because the mud has come off the side there. It's very hit and miss, but nothing to do with the Mazda really. Just trying to see what else it's got here. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, lumber support. So it's picked up the side there, picked up both sides of the road. We'll just try it once more, I won't push my luck. Oh no, it's, it's gone again now. Should pick it up here. Yeah, there you go. So if I go over there, see there, it, it turns me back and keeps me in the centre of the road. cars as nice to drive as any Mercedes-Benz or Audi and uh, I think probably nicer than a BMW to drive. Having said that most of the cars we deal in are probably three to seven years old and uh, a lot of stuff can happen in Three years, I think. Um, just trying to think. Probably uh, driven a 2016. Another kite there. They must be popular around here. Unless it's that one following me. On well, this is the estate as well. I forgot to mention the Torah. So it looks like there's plenty of room here. I'll, I'll take some videos and photos of the outside and the loading space. Mm. 
nice automatic gearbox, you can't feel it change. The only thing you notice really is the, the note of the engine changing. That's, uh, finishes that gear tunnel off as well. Got kind of piano black there, but it's matte. What? No, no, it's dark wood. Sorry, it's uh, so if I perhaps took my sunglasses off, it might help. So that's dark wood. That's really, really nice with a uh, brushed aluminium underneath, trim, and the uh, then it's piano black in the centre on the around the gear tunnel. <laughs> the the seat belt smells of somebody's perfume, whoever's been driving this. Fishers, fishersharrogate.co.uk. I must remember to have a look and see what that is. Fishers-Harrogate.co.uk Try and have a look over dinner what they are. Let's see them get up this hill. Uh, probably rather a good idea to um, set the sat nav for the place but knock the sound off so uh, don't keep telling you you're going wrong when you're on your way out on your drive Fiat there. Oh, somebody's uh, parked in my space. We'll queue up. Take some videos now and then uh, cut them into the into the finished product.